Hi, chickens. How are y'all doing this morning? Huh? Hey, Blackie, what are you doing? I call her the dog. She's so spoiled. Hey, Angela. You scared of the camera. Hey, Charlotte and Shadow. There's Luigi, my rooster. Well, hello, YouTube. T Man's Hobbies here. And, uh,. Down here at the chicken coop and uh, getting ready to let these spoiled chickens out. But uh, I wanted to do a quick video real quick about something interesting and something exciting. But first, as always, we gotta let these guys out. So are y'all ready to get out? Here we go. Come on, chick chicks. Here they come. What do you want? She is the spoilest thing. <laughs> Luigi, what are you doing? This way, doofus. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you just shy of the camera? You're a big boy. Yes, you are. Oh, come on. I'll go away. I hear somebody jump out of the box. Wonder who could it be? Chicky chicky chickies! There's everybody. There's Luigi. He came out. Hi, folks. Let's go into Coop and show you the exciting news. Says, Welcome, everybody. Oh, here she comes. My East Buff Warmington Easter Egg Mix. I don't even have a name for her. Well, folks, as y'all know, spring is here. Still. Still, man. It, it still is cold out here. It's a little... Uh-oh. It is chilly out here, as always. But, um... We have some exciting news to share with you guys. Move over, Shadow. I know you know what the news is. Uh-oh. We're going to have to, hold on, I'm going to have to, well, I don't know how I can see, okay, hold on, take two coming up. There you go, now you can see. <laughs> well, folks, Pedralyn is broody. That's right, she was in the nested box the last two nights, growling at me and carrying on and all that, and yeah, she is broody. I don't know why she ain't growling at me, I don't know if she just woke up or what, but... <laughs> But, uh, folks, here you got some eggs under her. And take a look at this egg, folks. You may be wondering, why did you put an A on, ow, <laughs> on all four of them? Listen. Folks, those are not only eggs. Those are artificial eggs. You might be wondering, why do you have artificial eggs under a broody hen? Well, folks, this year I'm going to do something different. I know... Uh, last year when Pedralina went broody, she, uh, all her eggs got gone because of a snake. Well, this year, I'm not going to let her hatch mixed breeds because we got enough mixed breeds. We're going to get rid of some here soon. But, uh, we're going to let her adopt purebred chickens. So, how cool does that sound, right? We're going to do it as normal. We're going to, uh, keep it in a warm place. I don't know if there's a warm place or not because, uh, uh you know, several things. But, uh, um. You know, uh, we'll try to keep some chicks in a warm place. Hopefully outside if it's cool. I mean, not cool, but warm. And uh, we'll let her adopt some chicks. Don't know if I'll go to the store. And uh, depends on if they're going to order chicks. If they're not, then I, the trap supply has them. So I'll get them from there probably. And uh, the one breed, the more particular breed I'm after is the white leghorn because we have not had any luck at all with white leghorns because you know hawks keep getting them a possum got one last year and it's just not been our year with what years with white leghorns but we're gonna give them one another shot you just don't give up folks and uh so that's right that's the particular breed i'm after but uh, that's not the only breed but we'll get a couple more breeds too and um uh, but yeah she's broody so, uh, very excited about it. And uh, she's going to adopt some chicks here probably in about another week. 
after she's been sitting on them for a while. And plus, folks, yes, it is. Go it, it, it was supposed to freeze last night. You can tell the weather is cold out here. I got a jacket on, my grandpa's jacket on. But, uh, yeah, she's broody, and we're hopefully going to let her adopt some chicks. But you may be wondering, uh, how are your chickens doing? Give us some updates. Well, folks, as y'all just saw, the Bardrox and the Buff Orbington uh, from last year, Pedralina adopted her chicks. Yes, that is them, folks. They are big, aren't they? They are about full grown. And uh, the Bardrox and the Buff Orbington, they're laying. And uh, the Buff Orbington, we're expecting her to go broody, too, because the way she's acting. She had those feathers puffed up, so I don't know when it's going to happen. If it don't happen, that's fine. But, um, anyways, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. And, yes, as y'all know, Angel, my Buff Warmington rooster, uh, got gone last year in September 25th. And, uh, sad time, of course, because, you know, Angel was the sweetest rooster. We'll never forget him. We will always love him. But, uh, he'll always be in our hearts forever. But, uh, yes, we do have a new rooster to rule the roost, and that is Luigi. Another Buff Orbiton. I don't know if he's a mixed breed or what, but he looks like a Buff Orbiton. I'm calling him a Buff Orbiton, no matter what. But, uh, anyway, yeah, he's the new ro uh, rule of the roost. And, uh, he's a good rooster so far. Except when I get near him, he'll kind of have his wing down a little bit, but he ain't flown nobody yet, so that's good. But, uh, Angel was the sweetest rooster no matter what. So, uh, but folks, that is what, uh, has been going on lately. Here are the chicken flock. And uh, yes, we are uh we have the right amount of chickens, alright? We uh we have fifteen, but uh y'all don't know this, but we lost two uh within the last month. We lost our red sex link Tilly and we lost our precious partridge coach and uh Coco. She went she passed away peacefully under there and uh, laying on her back. It was sad, but uh uh, yeah, uh, so now we have 13 chickens, and, uh, we're gonna get six, and we're gonna get rid of four. It's gonna be a tough thing, a kind of a tough thing to do, because my Golden Lace Wand Dot that I've had for five years now, on April 8th, it'll be five years, um, uh, I'm probably gonna get rid of her, and if she's not laying, I'm gonna give her maybe to a guy, uh, maybe he'll butcher her, and, uh, but uh, then the other three, however, are laying. So that's good. And they're mixed breeds. Uh, one of them is, yes, Popstar, my Buff Orbiton and Golden Lace Wand Dot mix. And uh, the other two are Buff Orbiton and Easter Egg mixes. So, uh, but folks, this is probably the only mixed breed I'll be keeping. Besides the Black Sexling, they're mixed breeds as well. But yes, this is our Buff Orbiton and Black Ocelot mix, Petrolina. And uh, she is a mixed breed, so I'm probably I'm, I'm definitely keeping her, because not only is she a good chicken, she's a good broody hen. She she goes broody about three times a year, uh, including winter, which never works. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, folks, there's your video, and uh, Petrolina is doing well. I'll give y'all updates whenever uh, we get her some chicks. So, uh, see you then, folks. I had to get this on film, Angelina. Our Buff Wilmington is getting ready. Excuse me, Angela. Angela, our Buff Wilmington is getting ready to go in her nesting box and watch how she acts. And you tell me if she's fixing to go broody because the way she's acting. She there? She's got her feathers puffed up. I'm telling you, she's probably fixing to go broody. And y'all don't know this, but Petrolina went. Petrolina went broody again in the winter. And so did this chicken right here. And uh, I did not let any of them hatch or adopt any chicks because it's too cold. So, uh, but yeah. You see how she's acting right there? I'm telling you, she's probably going to go broody as well. See, I just love my chickens. Okay, you can go in your box now, sweetie. She's probably waiting to go in that one right there. But anyway, that's all, folks. I just want to show you how she's acting. Because, you know, the behaviors where they act all grumpy and all that. And before you know it, they're brooding. That's what Pedro Lee is doing right now. So, uh... Alright, folks. Team Man's Hobbies coming to you right now. See you on the next video.